Hello YouTube! By the time this video gets online, I will be on holiday to Peru. The land of not only the Incas, but also those weird llama things. I don't know what those things do. At this time, I have no idea what has happened over the last two weeks before this video gets uploaded. I hope you guys like the guest features that have come online. And, well, let's just kick off. <laughs> the Fighters Guild. The Fighters Guild is a large organization spanning over all of Tamriel. Or rather, it was. It is a large organization of mercenaries that carry out contracts like killing bandits, slaying dangerous animals and safeguarding people. Basically the companions in Skyrim, just less lame. The guild itself was found in the year 320 of the second era by a guy that I cannot pronounce but I will still try. Dinieras Ves. Okay. <laughs> Under the supervision of the Ekaviri potentate of the Riemann Empire at the time. And I'm again trying to pronounce the name Versidus Shaye. Sorry if it's wrong. <laughs> At first, this were uh, they were called the St the Sifim, after the Akaviri word for soldier, as they were founded with the purpose of defending the provinces, since the imperial army had been largely wiped out at the time. It was their purpose to consist of only Akaviri people, but eventually reformed, as they had not enough Akaviri people on Tamriel. To fill up the large slots in this organization. So it was renamed into the Fighters Guild instead of the Sifim. Then the established Fighters Guild was led by a master. But the way I see it, every province as part of the Fighters Guild later in the, uh, in the timeline had a large say in its own doing. Each province's Fighters Guild division is led by a drill master. And a central leader of the Fighters Guild is the leader of the Cyrodiil division of the Fighters Guild. And he or she is called the Guild Master. Specifically in Morrowind, the whole structure of command had to deal with a lot of corruption inside its ranks. And we can assume that, except for maybe the tightly ruled division in Cyrodiil, a lot of the province's division had this problem. The Fighters Guild, a little over 250 years after its founding, actively helped in trying to combat Molag Ball's threat to Tamriel during the events of Elder Scrolls Online. Later in the Third Era, the Fighters Guild became even more significant. It operated in almost every province now, and like the Mages Guild, it achieved a large significant political power. However, they mostly did not use it. During the fourth era, their significance began to diminish due to some undocumented crisis. I'm personally guessing the Great War. They lost most of their prominence in Skyrim, and I assume also the Somerset Isles, Felonwood, elsewhere, and Black Marsh. This is just my assumption. I don't have sources for it, but as my assumption is that they lost their power through the Great War, I don't think that the countries under Altmeria rule and Black Marsh will want an imperial institution in their lands. But again, it's just my speculation. But what has become of the Fighters Guild is quite unknown by the fourth era. Does it still have a prominent position within Cyrodiil? I wouldn't know. There's not that many sources on it. If you guys know anything about it, please, say, uh, please tell it to me. I wasn't able to find anything in the games. Well guys, this was already the end of the video. It was kind of short, but as I like to call it, short and sweet. That said, leave a like, subscribe and join my Discord server, link is in the description. If you did all that, I will see you guys again in the next lore video.